Welcome to another tutorial on Easy Worship 2009 brought to you by WorshipMediaPro.com. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about importing PowerPoint into Easy Worship 2009. Now, it's a very simple task, so it's going to be a relatively short video. So, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to click on this icon here to add PowerPoint to my schedule. Now, we can pretend that we have a, a couple of songs here that's already been set up in our schedule. And in fact, we could even do something different. We can just uh, open our, an existing schedule. So we're going to open that schedule. We're not going to save that. We're going to say finish. So we'll have our existing schedule opened here. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a PowerPoint to our existing schedule. Now, keep in mind, this is important to know, that when I add my PowerPoint to the schedule, it is actually referencing the file directly, meaning if I make a change to this PowerPoint file, it will automatically update that change inside of Easy Worship. This is great because if you need to make a change on the fly, you don't have to go back in and re-import it into your schedule and make sure it's organized correctly and all that kind of good stuff. Another thing to keep in mind about the PowerPoints is the slides and files designed in PowerPoint are displayed in Easy Worship exactly as they were designed in PowerPoint. So this means in addition the animations, the sounds, and the timings created in PowerPoint work in Easy Worship as well. This is perfect because generally the PowerPoints are not songs, although you might have a collection of songs that are already pre-assembled on PowerPoint and you of course can use those in Easy Worships, but, but, but generally it is um, sermon series from your pastor or announcements from different ministries submitting their, their uh, announcements with you know animation and pictures and things like that. So you can create an, a complete deck or you can just import individually each ministry's announcements as separate PowerPoint files and then of course your pastor's sermon series as well. So you're maintaining one application during the entire process of the, of the service. So um, that's great. That's a beautiful power of uh, easy worship. Let's get started. So I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to click on the PowerPoint icon. And now when I go to import this, this uh, PowerPoint file, it's going, to it's going to create the thumbnail and remember directly linking to the Amazing Grace PowerPoint file that resides on my hard drive. Now I already have PowerPoint uh, application loaded on this machine, but let's just say you didn't have PowerPoint loaded on the machine already and uh, you don't have any instance of PowerPoint. Well, what's going to happen is it's going to prompt you to install the PowerPoint 2007 viewer. Now you can manually do it right here or you can um, have it automatically ask you and it basically looks like this when you get the prompt. All right, so we already had that and we're just we're just moving along here. So let's 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 take a look at how this is dynamically linked to your original PowerPoint file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the PowerPoint inside of uh, PowerPoint. And I'm going to add an underline underneath the border here. And then I'm going to hit save. And now it's automatically updating that PowerPoint with the underline. I can alternatively do schedule and check for changes and I can reference. Now what it's doing is it's, it's referencing in my database uh, when we pulled in our saved schedule and of course there's nothing that we need to do and the PowerPoint was already updated so that's perfect. We're just going to say finish and uh, we're all good because it automatically did do that update. Now let's go back and remove that border before I forget. I'm going to hit save and I'm going to close out PowerPoint and it'll take a moment here. Perfect. All right. So now we're all done. Now also um, before I show you this live here, if you have an older version of PowerPoint, like let's say um, PowerPoint 97, you can use a free converter pack from Microsoft to convert that to an Office 2003 or greater 
file extension on PowerPoint, meaning you can convert it so that it plays inside of your PowerPoint 2007 viewer or application. So uh, definitely download that and I'll make this link available on the tutorial page as well. All right, so let's go live with this particular um, PowerPoint here. So I'm gonna say go live. And I'm gonna click on my live button. Now I have, uh, I have one monitor set uh, because this is a, a single system used for doing screen recordings. So um, I'm just going to pull down the application so you can see I have logo clicked on. And if you want to know how to do all this, look at the very first lesson in the tutorial series and you'll see how to add the logo setting. So I'm going to go out of logo and it's going to automatically display my PowerPoint. Now this is really cool because it maintained everything, the reflection text, all that good stuff and I can just toggle through the song. So that's it, really straightforward, simple to do. I, I hope that this, uh, this was helpful, God bless.